my name is Chubby Sig, and um, what we're looking at is teams at Space Camp, um, getting ready for graduation. Are you ready to tell your parents all the stories you learned, including the Alice Shepherd? Well, whether they know it or not, they're going to be talking about us for the next month or so. I went there for one week. We did lots of cool activities. We did simulators about what it's like in space. And we um, did a mission, which was really fun. My role on the mission was payload specialist too. It was pretty fun. We spent one whole week without our parents. We slept there, we had breakfast, lunch, and dinner. There was 24 students that went total out of the whole sixth grade, and they were all from my school. Um, we were split up into two teams, Pioneer and Ranger, and I was on Ranger team. Um, you graduate, and you have a patch. It's black with gold wings. You wear it on graduation, and when you walk in, you actually have to wear your patch upside down. Because you aren't fully graduated. And if you have that on, um, when she walks past you and say congratulations, you get your patch taken off and put right side on. Um, I just got through with graduation. That gray building with lots of spherical edging on it. Um, that's where all the base camp trainees would spend the night. And here is the Pathfinder. It never flew, I don't think. So we have it on exhibit there at the Space Museum. It's actually the real thing. Um, they just have it on exhibit so that the counselors can explain what it looks like and like how it goes up into space, the real shuttle. We're getting ready to enter the Space Museum. I think this is the Saturn Three, and this is the beginning of Rocket Park, where they have models of all different shuttles and rovers. That is a lunar lander. They made an exhibit for that. That is the actual size, but not a real one. Um, that's what the moon will look like. This is what the lunar rover would look like. There is another model of a lunar lander. Um, I don't think this is the um, exact size, but there's some of the equipment in there as well. That is one of the rings to hold um, part of a rocket together, like all the wires for the computers and stuff. That is a nose cone, which two astronauts would go in, they would launch, they'd be in space for a few minutes, they would land back in like the Pacific or the Atlantic Ocean, and then they would be floating on top until people came and got them. And this is sort of a simulation. It's supposed to be the future spacecraft to travel in. You go inside and when you get in there and it has Mars on it, like there was a colony on there already. This is the Saturn V model outside of the new Davidson Center. Inside the Davidson Center, they have actually a real one. But before the Davidson Center was built, they had Saturn V rocket as part of the rocket part, and Grandpa's just checking it out, see what it looks like. This is one of the three Saturn V rockets that are left in Huntsville, Houston, and some other place has an, a Saturn V rocket. They have on the floor um, circles that say one, two, and three. There are three main parts of the Saturn V, three stages. And they have five big engines, and only, like, not even half of that is actually into space.
We have commit and we have lift off. Only a little tiny bit at the other end of the rocket is launched into space. It launches as a whole thing, but breaks up into different sections as it um, goes through the orbit. It takes all the five engines to get it up there, and then they run out of fuel to run on. Then that bottom part, it like falls back and burns up. What is it? At the top, there's a piece that carries the lunar lander that will break off at the end near the moon and it will land the astronauts on the moon in the lander. There's three total astronauts on the Saturn V. Um, only two will actually um, walk on the moon surface. And when they reach the moon, they'll spend about maybe two weeks up there. The top part of the lunar lander will actually break off the bottom part and will join the piece orbiting the moon. And, and then the guy orbiting the moon will sort of slow down, but not too slow that it will fall into the um, path of the orbit and it will fall to the moon surface. Then they use that to get back home. There is a experiment station where you can do all different activities with a Saturn V rocket. You can make one out of film, canister, and you can see the reaction with the fuel and stuff. You can use Alka-Seltzer to um, add as the engines, and then it'll pop off the launch pad. And you can make lava lamps, and it's just a whole lot of experiments about the science. We spent one whole week with our parents. We slept there, we had breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and they provided food for us. If you don't really know anything about space, you can go there and you'll go home thinking, wow, I just learned a whole lot, and now I can be aware of space stuff that's happening around us. Um, I don't want to be an astronaut, but I might help out like um, what my dad does at NASA so to help out with the launches and stuff. It's pretty fun. They're all my friends, and we had a blast of time.